This video is about the importance of picking a line when driving off-road. So you can see the Challenger has put its left wheels in a rut here and watch what happens when that left wheel tries to come out of the rut. You can see that the front right wheel loses traction because the axle isn't level. And because the axle okay. isn't level that means we're not going to get even traction across both wheels. Now we move the car slightly to the right and you can see the car climbs up no problem at all because there's equal weight on both wheels and Good therefore side. equal traction. Now here we're going to take another line, we're going to straddle that rut and as you can see the axle remains pretty level therefore there's equal traction pretty much and up comes the vehicle, no wheel spin. And here's a long travel LC100 and you can see even that has difficulty um, with that rut as well. Whereas if the LC100 just goes to one side, then it comes up nice and easy with no drama whatsoever. So in this example, we're going to climb this hill. There's not major ruts, but there's quite a few there. And there's various different lines you can take. So here's the Challenger again. And again, it's crawling up. And this video is really about showing that you don't need a lot of momentum if you pick the right line. But this is the wrong line. And you can see that the front left wheel is spinning. Now I've kept the camera exactly in the same location and we're just going to go a little bit further over to the right and as you can see, despite the fact we're going really slowly, the vehicle just climbs up nice as you like. So you can take the right line and climb up slowly, minimal track damage, less stress on the vehicle or just use momentum and take the wrong line. So here is both of those lines as an example. What you're looking to do is to keep two wheels and an axle as level as you possibly can because if you don't, well, that top left hand corner, that's what happens. Now we're going to come to a similar but related problem and that's making sure that both wheels and an axle have similar resistance and therefore similar drive. Now watch this Challenger again going up a rock ledge and you can see there it's just going to come to a stop. Well why is that? Let's take a look from the front. Take a look at the front left hand wheel there trying to get over that not very big rock ledge but that's enough to make that wheel spin because there's unequal amounts of resistance. Now if we keep the vehicle just a little bit over to the left, have a look at the difference it makes. The vehicle is going no quicker, it's still going very very slowly. Just by moving a little bit further over to the left you can see it crawls up easy as you like and because you're going slow that means you don't bounce around, lose traction and reduce your clearances. So let's take a look at the difference here. Now take a look at that front left hand wheel it actually avoids that rock ledge so that we've got equal resistance on both front wheels here avoiding that rock ledge now doesn't drop in and that's what allows the vehicle just to keep going keeping both axles nice and level. Now here again is the difference you can see the front left wheel is spinning against that rock there whereas with the bottom right hand corner you can see we just avoid that rock ledge and off we go. So here's that second hill again on a much muddier day and we've got a 100 series attempting to climb it. You can see it doesn't make it. Is that a lack of traction? Maybe. It is pretty slippery. But maybe it's just needing a better line. And what does a better line look like? Well that means that the two wheels on an axle should be level and as you can see at the moment they're not level. So we give it another try. A little bit more momentum and notice here just how level the, that front axle is. It doesn't move around and flex up and down like before. And finally here's me driving it in an independent suspension front vehicle and you can see that it does need some momentum because it's slippery but the main thing is going straight up and keeping those wheels on an axle as level as you can. So to finish here's a Suzuki Jimny and Every vehicle is different. The Jimny compared to the Challenger you saw earlier is a lot lighter, it's got a shorter wheelbase, it's got more flexible suspension and it's narrower so you can take different lines. However, the principle of keeping both wheels on an axle as level as you can and of making sure they've got equal resistance applies to both vehicles and in fact every four-wheel drive vehicle. So those principles are important which is why I put them into the video. If you've got any questions please feel free to drop them in the comments and thank you for watching and happy for driving.